A Fairfield teenager rushed to the hospital after she was hit by a car. On her way home from school, the driver took off. Tonight, the girl's family is taking the investigation into their own hands. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson is live for us in Fairfield tonight with a story you'll see only on WLWT. Karen. And Cherie, the signs are pretty eye catching. They're right here. They've been placed throughout Fairfield, about a dozen of them. The uh, family and the girl went around Fairfield last night, plan to go around tonight, asking for your help identifying the driver. She also shared photos of her injuries, and I just want to warn you, some of them are graphic. Oh, this looks so much better than what it did the other night. 16 year old Martina Rios recovering fairly quickly. But she and her family are still angered by what happened on her way home from school last Thursday. A friend dropped her off at the Resor Witten Road intersection near her house. I started walking like three or four steps and I saw the sign to go. And the car came and hit me, and all I remember is like falling to the ground. Holding my chin because it was like really bloody. When she looked up, the driver took off. Pretty upsetting. I can't believe somebody would hit somebody and then just drive off. Knowing her parents weren't home from work yet, Martina made her way to a neighbor's house. And I was like walking sideways and my vision started like blacking out. She was bloody and injured. A severe concussion, a lot of bruising, both hips, shoulders. Now that Martina is feeling better, she and her family are turning their efforts to finding the guy who was behind the wheel. They've posted these signs on intersections near where the hit and run took place. From talking to the police officer, they really had no phone calls. Uh, they didn't have any leads, so I was hoping that this would generate some leads. Maybe somebody saw something, could call them. Maybe somebody knew who it was that hit her. Martina says the car was a light colored Mercedes driven by a white man with white short hair, a mustache, and goatee. And Fairfield police did not return my calls today, but according to the police report, Martina waited for the signal and was in the crosswalk when she was hit. Reporting live tonight in Fairfield, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. If you have any information on who the driver could be, call Fairfield police.